Like almost any mother, Margarita Mendez wants to keep her family safe. In this case, she wants them to stay here in El Salvador and avoid yet another treacherous thousand-mile journey north, looking for work in the United States. It's something you cannot even explain. It hurts. You cannot sleep. You are afraid they are in danger. Her husband, Acalino, spent three years in the U.S., picking crops in Mendota, California, and doing construction work in Washington, D.C. But he found being away from the family so stressful, he had to come home. Her son, Henry, worked on a pig farm in Worlington, Minnesota. Twice, and twice he was deported. Her younger son, Fabrizio, barely made it to the U.S., he was kidnapped along the way by a Mexican drug cartel and held for $1,800 ransom, which his family paid. Within just weeks of arriving in Texas, Fabrizio was jailed and deported. There are no jobs here. As young men, they ask for many things and we cannot afford them. That is now changing. This U.S. Foreign Assistance Project is helping the Mendez family and thousands of other farm families in this, the poorest region of El Salvador, showing them how to grow much more profitable fruits and vegetables. Today, instead of corn and beans, it's fields of plantains and zucchini, mangoes and coconuts. American Assistance is also helping to build a new road through these mountains so the farmers can expand their markets, shipping their produce throughout the country. Thanks to this U.S. effort, the whole economy here is starting to improve. Fabrizio already has a full-time construction job and is heading back to school. Yes, the principal thing is that my children get to study. That is our hope for this project that things are different from the past, that we will have something we've never had. Having a future here in El Salvador, a future together. <laughs>